Hey everybody, this is Tracy of TracyLDarity.com. I'm an author, blogger, freelance content provider, and I also host my own YouTube channel where I recap some of my favorite television shows, and you can check those out at youtube.com backslash a view from Tracy's Point. So it's day 19 of the visibility challenge, and our letter for today is S. So my S word is social responsibility. So as a writer, there used to be a time when the only information you had on your um, favorite author came from the bio on the back of their book and maybe you would get a picture and if you were really lucky, you would have the opportunity to meet that author if they came to town for a book signing or a book fair if your area had those. Well, nowadays we have social media and with the influx of self-published authors, it is nothing to be on social media and find out that someone who's on your friend list or that you follow is actually a published author. So then comes the responsibility of being in this social network um, format is how much is too much and when do you talk and when do you not talk. And so we're right now, you know, in a very politically charged climate. So should writers be out there voicing their opinions about the new administration, about, you know, the women's march that just took place, about um, just a whole plethora of things that are going on in our society today. You know, we had the whole issue with gospel artist um, Kim Burrell. You know, she's also a minister and she was kind of like torn to shreds because of a sermon that she gave. And we have singer Chrisette Michelle who caught, um, caught a lot of flack because she decided to perform at the um, inauguration. So where do we draw the line with social responsibility or is it that it's so wide open and there's so many people that we can have access to that it's okay to be free to express our opinions and be who we want to be and understand that we can't um, be all things to all people and that we'll draw to us um, the people that are meant to come to us. So I think that this is a really good um, question. Not sure if it's been explored that much. I know I can be very opinionated at times, but not to the point where I am um, being mean spirit or harmful to somebody else. And so far, I think that the people who follow me, they pretty much appreciate my opinions and they appreciate the fact that I am open to hearing their side and their viewpoints, even if they oppose mine. So not really, um, don't really have like an answer to the question, but something I wanted to put out there because I know that I personally want to be socially conscious. And if I have a voice and an opportunity um, to put something out there that could be beneficial to people, you know, for example, my last book was called The Red Bear Society and it deals with HIV amongst youth. And so to me, it was very important to be socially responsible in putting that information out there and letting, you know, parents know that, hey, you know, one of the largest growing numbers or um, groups of people that are impacted with HIV and other um, sexually transmitted diseases is in the age range of 13 to 24 or 13 to 29, depending on which statistics you're looking at. So what I say to my fellow writers is it's okay to be socially conscious. It's okay to okay to be socially aware, but make sure that you're socially responsible and that your opinions and your thoughts and what you're writing about aren't abusive or offensive to other people. And if you have a point, make sure that your point is supported by facts and not just you being um, opinionated. So that's it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed um, this moment with Tracy. <laughs> and um, you guys take care and I'll see you tomorrow for the letter T. Bye.